hi guys welcome back to my channel it's ellie hope you all have been keeping well and being safe in today's video i'm going to be sharing some top design apps and softwares used by urban designers so if you're interested in urban design or becoming an urban designer i hope you find this video useful like always if you enjoy the video please give it a like and feel free to subscribe as well you can also share this with anyone who might find this useful just a quick disclaimer these apps that i'll be sharing obviously would vary depending on what country that you are living in also it would depend on your educational background and the company that you are working for or the company you're intending to apply to they have their own design requirements as well so it's quite useful that you please bear that in mind and do a follow-up research and just check what your country deems as industry standards so yeah let's get right into the video so some of you may know i work as a full-time urban designer here in the uk so i'll be starting off by sharing some of the apps and design softwares i frequently use and so the first one being adobe illustrator which falls under the adobe suite so i tend to mostly use this for creating maps 2d illustrations and other graphical outputs i find it quite fluid and flexible when it comes to recreating maps and doing other graphical diagrams and infographics as opposed to photoshop which is another tool i use but i tend not to use this very often but i do see it as a requirement if you want to take your plans or design outputs even further photoshop is such a powerful photo editing software and tool and so it's quite useful if you want to sort of develop your design or your plan further to a more realistic output it's also very handy for architectural rendering and other visualizations and so another app I use as an urban designer is Adobe InDesign. So this also falls under the Adobe Suites, but I tend to mostly just use this for putting together design documents and other graphical reports. So onto the more master planning and precise drawing tools, I use AutoCAD 2D and obviously this is a well-known industry standard and requirement. If you don't know how to use AutoCAD and you're interested, it's definitely an industry requirement. Although some companies and countries also lean more towards using Vectorworks. I use Vectorworks as well, but my company didn't require Vectorworks. They leaned more towards AutoCAD. I see it as a combination of AutoCAD and Illustrator because it can both draft um, precise designs as well as you could the output is quite similar to illustrate in the sense that you can add colors it's quite flexible as well you've got layers it's very similar to autocad and it performs very well in terms of outputting so in terms of 3d modeling sketchup is very easy in terms of if you want to do like basic 3d modeling you can also use it for more advanced and complex design and modeling as well and the good thing about sketchup 2 is that you can also take it into architectural rendering softwares like v-ray and twin motion or you can you know opt to just coloring up your or rendering up your plans in photoshop so another industry requirement and this is obviously a requirement because of bim is revit like i said it depends on the country or the company with my company they didn't require revit as a necessary tool for urban designers i studied architecture technology and so revit was one of the tools that we used but it's not a requirement for urban designers but um, if you happen to know revit it's a great and powerful tool in terms of drafting building layouts in 2d and 3d but as some companies or countries demand other tools like arcgis and even infrawix with arcgis i don't tend to use this very often i know very little about it i tend to just use it for generating maps and just for simple conversions. Infrawix, I tend to see this more as a, like a US industry standard as, a, as opposed to the UK. I tend to only use this for 3D outputting, but it's not a requirement for urban designers, especially here in the UK. So just to summarize, the top design applications or design softwares that um, urban designers use are Illustrator, Photoshop, InDesign, AutoCAD, 
SketchUp. So those are the major five that we as urban designers use. But obviously, like I said, depending on the company, country and educational background, you might have been more exposed to stuff like Revit and ArcGIS and even Vectorworks. So obviously do your research to know what softwares you should have under your belt. I highly recommend YouTube, it's free. You've got tons of useful information and videos teaching you how to use some of these design softwares. If you're an urban design student or you work as an urban designer or you're just interested in urban design, I want to know which you consider as industry standards or anyone that I might have missed that might be a vital industry standard or might not be that I covered. Please let us know in the comments so we can all learn. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this video useful and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!